this is how to automatically perform an SEO heist. SEO heist is the newest feature for the autoblogger. And I'm going to click the autoblogger right here. If you've been following along with this video series, the autoblogger is a web app that allows you to create hundreds of SEO optimized articles around your chosen keywords. You can choose a post interval anywhere from one to 48 hours or a random post interval where the autoblogger randomly generates new articles at a different interval each time. So it's a great way to get a ton of blog posts onto your website very quickly. It's a great way to have it done automatically without you having to write each article yourself. And now with the newest feature, SEO Heist, we can actually attack, target, and steal your competitor's traffic. In this video, we're gonna walk through it. Let's get started. To create an account, head on over to autoblogger.app, use your real name, choose a valid email address, and then create a password, click sign up. When you first launch the autoblogger, you're gonna need to set a few things up. If you already have an account and have set all this up, feel free to fast forward to later in the video. But for all you new users, when you land on the settings page, you need to grab your OpenAI secret key. To get that, head on over to platform.openai.com. You're gonna hover over API keys. You're gonna create a new secret key. I'm gonna call this SEO heist. Click create secret key, copy this key, go back into my auto blogger and paste it in here. Now, if you have a brand new developer account, you have to go to settings, billing. You're gonna add a valid payment method and then buy some credits to test that it's a valid card. You only need to purchase like $5 worth of credits, but that will get your account started. This is different than ChatGPT Plus. With ChatGPT Plus, you're only allowed to use ChatGPT and its premium features. With a developer account, it's pay as you go based on your usage. And it ends up being a lot cheaper with pay as you go, way cheaper than $20 per month. All right, after you've added all that, go back to the autoblogger and then hit start to test the OpenAI connection. So it's gonna run through all the possible API calls that this app uses. We got GPT 3.5 Turbo, GPT 4 Turbo, Dolly 2, and Dolly 3. If everything's good, you're gonna get a check mark in this button here. Next, in order to use the SEO Heist feature, you need to set up Stable Diffusion. So click on this tab. We're gonna need a Dream Studio API key. I'm gonna click this hyperlink right here. That takes us to beta.dreamstudio.ai slash account. And then you're gonna purchase some credits. So $10 worth of credits gives you 5,000 images. That's a lot of articles. We generate one image per article. So this is a good starting point. And then you're gonna click this plus button to create an API key. I've created several for testing. I'm just gonna copy one of these keys, click confirm go back into my settings, paste it in, and then click start to test the connection. Again, if everything is okay, I get this check mark in the button. Now the auto blogger currently supports three types of website builders. We have Shopify, we have WordPress, and now we have Webflow. I have three previous videos on my channel that walk through each of these integrations. Find the one that you want to use. For this video, I'm gonna quickly do WordPress. You're gonna click this button to add a WordPress website. Name your website. I'll just call it my WordPress website. We need your website URL. And the instructions here say don't include HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash or any other forward slashes. We just need wordpresswebsite.com, so that domain. Here's a sample WordPress website, bookgen.xyz. I'm gonna copy this section of the URL and paste it in here. Next, I'm gonna to go to settings and then permalinks and make sure the permalink structure is anything but plain. I like to use the post name. Having your slug as the keyword seems to be better for SEO. Then we're gonna to go to users. We're gonna add a new user, call whatever you like. Let's say SEO heist, add in an email address and then change the role to editor. Hit add new user. I have a few ones here, so I'm just gonna click on one I created before. You're gonna click on that user after you created it and scroll down to the bottom and set a new application password. So I'm just gonna call this SEO Heist again. 
hit add new application password, and then we're copying this key. For the username, remember I called it SEO heist, and then that application password is that key. Make sure you don't have any WordPress plugins that are restricting API access. If it's all good, hit start to test the WordPress connection. It's gonna take a second, it's gonna post a test article on your website, and if it goes through, you're gonna get that blue check mark again, and then your website will be added here. The last thing you need is a subscription to the Autoblogger app. Click on the subscription tab and then click subscribe. I tried to make this subscription plan as cheap as possible and I settled on $9 per month. This includes all the features to the Autoblogger, unlimited websites, unlimited use, and I have no plans to raise this and I'm still adding new features. So I'm trying to make this web app the best AI value on the net. All right, once you've subscribed, you're gonna land back on the settings page. You can click this icon in the top left corner. That brings you back to the tools, and we're gonna click on SEO Heist. So, what is an SEO Heist? There's a really popular video on my channel called How to Perform an SEO Heist Using ChatGPT. This video has almost 300,000 views. For some reason, it resonated with this audience. And the theory comes from Twitter user Jake Ward where he pulled off an SEO heist that stole 3.6 million total traffic from a competitor. It involved three steps. They exported a competitor's sitemap, they turned their list of URLs into articles, and then they created 1,800 articles from those titles at scale using AI. 18 months later, they stole 3.6 million total traffic and 490,000 monthly traffic from their competitors. So basically, let's say the keyword was weightlifting gear. We have a few websites that are ranking top of Google search results for that keyword. For example, Rise Canada here, their slug, their keyword is lifting gear. And if your Shopify store or your business website sells lifting gear, but you don't have a blog post, article, or page about lifting gear, it's going to be really tough to rank in Google. If Rise Canada was my competitor, I would create an article with the slug lifting gear. The article will be written around that keyword and optimized for that keyword. And then hopefully over time, my website starts ranking in the Google search results as well. It might not get as high as Rise Canada. It might be a bit lower. But the point is we start getting traffic that may have landed on Rise Canada and purchased their product but instead they're scrolling down, they're clicking on our business website and they're making a purchase from us. So that's why I built this tool. It's an automatic way to take your competitor's traffic. I wanna be completely blunt. I don't 100% know if this feature is finished yet. I'm hoping when you guys use it, you can give me some advice on what to build, but I have the basic bare bones here. I have something that may work automatically for you in the back end without you touching a thing. You can set it and forget it forever. And this tool will automatically always create the articles of your competitors and hopefully get that traffic. So first on this page, you're going to choose your website. I'm going to choose book gen. We get to choose a text model, either GPT-4 turbo or GPT-3.5 turbo. I'm going to click GPT-4 turbo. You get to choose your language. We have a bunch of languages here. If yours is not in this list, please write in the comments below and I will add it immediately. I'm gonna stick with English. This is your custom prompt. This is what the OpenAI API uses to generate the articles. You have total control of the output here. So by default, I have output should be in HTML format, only write the article and nothing else. Include H2, H3, and paragraph tags when appropriate. Do not write the title. In this, you can also add style, tone, formatting. Fool around with this until you get the results that you want. I don't have a test article on this page, but if you go over to the Autoblogger, I give you an option to test an article using the custom prompt. So you can enter a keyword here, test it out. If you don't like the output, change it up, test it again. Keep fiddling around until you get exactly what you want. I'm gonna keep this the same. So link URL and link text will go at the end of your article. This is for internal linking, affiliate links, or external links. Let's say I wanted an Amazon affiliate link. This is for protein powder. I'm gonna paste it in. Then for the link text, 
I'm gonna write, this is the best protein powder on the planet. This text will be hyperlinked with this affiliate link. And it goes at the end of each of your articles. And the last thing you need is an RSS feed URL. This is how we're automatically going to grab your competitors' articles. Now, every website is different and some may not expose an RSS feed. You're gonna have to fool around with this to see if you can find it for your competitor. But for an example, this is a medium link. It's an RSS feed. I'm gonna click test and it's gonna pull in the last five articles of this website. We get men, who are they really, moral sanctimony about AI images, visiting Australia or planning a working holiday, and we got two other ones right down here too. If you see article titles after you click the test button, this means that this is a valid URL of a competitor and you're ready to start the SEO heist. If results show down here that don't make sense, let's say nothing shows or there's gibberish or there's weird characters, whatever, it means you didn't input the right RSS feed URL and I want you to keep trying until you get something like this. So it looks like we are good to go. This is my competitor. I'm gonna click start heist and that means every time a new article is released, it is gonna take that title of the article, it's gonna rewrite it slightly so we're not copying it and then it's gonna write a full article with an image from Stable Diffusion 3 and post it on your website. So every time your competitor releases an article, you are right there behind them creating one as well. And you're creating one on the same topic and hopefully competing for that sweet organic traffic. So I'm gonna click Start Heist. It says an SEO heist has been scheduled. Please check your website to see the results. I'm gonna click OK. And now if I go to Workflows, we have this brand new workflow. I can click on the info button and it gives us some information. This is the workflow ID. This is the website we are generating for. This is the text model that we chose. I will quickly fix this to show the image model is stable diffusion. We have the language English. We didn't use a link URL or link text. This is the prompt that we used and this is the heist URL that we are targeting. At any time you can click the cancel button and end the SEO heist, but if you don't cancel it, it will work like clockwork every single day until you cancel it. This is an infinite workload. Now, let me show you what's going on in the back end. Okay, in the back end, we're scheduling this API workflow called Heist. First off, what we are doing is we're taking that RSS feed for that Heist URL that you have chosen, and we're finding the latest item's title. If I copy that URL and paste it in here, you will see the XML file and it's scrolling down and it's finding the latest article. Remember, it was called Men, Who Are They Really? It says it was released Friday, March 15th. That is today. So this is a brand new article. And then the autoblogger is taking that title that it receives. It's rewriting it just a slight little bit. Remember, just so we're not copying. But it's only doing that if that title is new. And that's the most important part. This SEO heist only creates new articles if it sees a new article. If it's the same article as last week or yesterday, it's not going to create a new article. That's very important. We're only copying brand new articles that are released on your competitor's website. If your competitor doesn't release anything for two weeks, you're not gonna create an article for two weeks. I would then just use the auto blogger for your specific keywords. Enter like 50 keywords that you wanna target, set an interval for every six hours and let it go to work. But once there is a new article, it's gonna rewrite the title, it's gonna write a Dolly prompt. We are doing this for stable diffusion. The next step is we're generating an image, then we're gonna write the entire article around that title. If you have a Shopify website, it's gonna post that article to your Shopify store. If you have a Webflow website, it's gonna post that article to its collections, and then it's gonna publish it. And if you have a WordPress website, it's gonna create the article and post it there. Then it's gonna schedule this API workflow again. It's gonna schedule it for the same time tomorrow. So this workflow runs once per day. It's a set it and forget it every day. It's gonna check if there's a new article. If there is, it's gonna write a new article. If there isn't, it's not gonna do anything. It's gonna schedule the API workflow again for the next day and then try again. 
And then at the end, I'm just changing the ID of the new workflow so you can still cancel it. And lastly, I'm adding a previous heist data type. This is how I'm checking if it's a new article. You guys don't have to worry about that, but it's always checking the current heist title against the previous heist title. That's how we know it's different. Back on my WordPress website in the meantime, it generated an article around that medium title and it said men exploring their true identity. We got a good stable diffusion three image, a bunch of men here, and then unraveling the complex tapestry of masculinity. This is a great article, roughly related to my competitor's article. And for the slug URL, it's using the title of the article, which again is great for SEO. This feature is currently in beta. Please give it a shot, tell me what you think. Let me know if there are any features that you want to add to the auto blogger. I got a bunch of really cool things planned for the future. If you wanna get started, click the link in the description below. One last thing, if you wanna learn how to build AI apps like the auto blogger, check out the course, how to build a custom AI app. I teach you everything you need to know about connecting AI APIs to a bubble web app. And any idea that you have for a custom GPT that you wanna start charging customers, I'm gonna teach that in this course. You can land on this page, a link is gonna be in the description below. Watch this main video, you can click to view the syllabus. I'd love to see you in there. And if you like this video, I have two more on the screen right now. I've catered both of them to your personal YouTube watch history. Click one of them for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.